In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a master roadmap. To create a master roadmap, you'll need at least two roadmaps on your account. From there, click New, New Master, and give it a name. I'm going to be calling mine Backlog Master because I'm going to be creating a master that displays only my backlog items from multiple roadmaps. So the first thing you'll notice is you have an extra panel to the right called Sources. From here, you're going to select which roadmaps you want to roll up into your master. So I'm going to select my design, my development, and my marketing roadmaps. You'll notice that as, as I select these roadmaps, all of the items from those roadmaps are being rolled up into the swim lane view. Once I've selected all of my source roadmaps, I can then begin to pivot. So from here, head into your format panel. And maybe you don't want to just see your source roadmaps being marketing, development, and design roadmaps. Perhaps you want to pivot by quarters, weeks, or months. Because I'm going to be pivoting by my backlog, first I'm going to assign the quarter bucket. So these are all of my items from all three of those roadmaps. I'm now going to assign a row header. And because I've used lines of business as a common field across all three of those roadmaps, most of my items will probably have lines of business values assigned to them. And this will allow me to see all of the backlog items assigned a line of business from all three of those roadmaps. The last step in creating a backlog master is to filter out any items that are not in your backlog. Within the filter tab, select the bucket and apply the backlog tab to only include backlog items and click apply. Now you'll see just a long list of all the backlog items in their different lines of business. Perhaps you want to flip their, your row and column headers for a better display. And from here, you have a backlog master roadmap of all the backlog items across three different roadmaps. For one further pivot, maybe add a splash of color to distinguish your different roadmaps from one another. Selecting source will then pop out this legend and the green are from your design roadmap, yellow from development and orange from marketing. 